Dr. Dorian and I welcome Judy Evans from Days of Our Lives. Poor, poor woman. She contracted coronavirus while in the hospital, right? And you were in the hospital because you hurt your leg falling off of a horse. How are you? Well, I, I uh, broke my collarbone and seven ribs and bruised my lung from blunt force trauma just to get in here. But um, doing, doing well, the rumor is I may go home today after 25 Today? Years. So, yeah, I'm hoping. I haven't seen my husband except for on FaceTime. So I'm, I'm looking forward to putting my arms around him because he's the real hero, home, alone, and helpless. I think I saw him golfing the other day. I have to be honest. I got to report that. <laughs> I can see that. I, I, he might have been. It might have been him. <laughs> so, Judy, what were the first symptoms that you started having besides, obviously, the horse injury uh, that you felt something was off? Well, they were doing some, you know, extensive CT scans on my lungs and in my right lung, because everything that I busted up was on my left side. And in my right lung, there were little tiny clots. So they ended up putting a screen in and then I started just fever spiking and I don't get fevers. And they were about to do another procedure. And I had asked a couple of times for um, uh, a, a test, a corona uh, test and been through the hospital a couple of times they'd wheeled me through without a mask and so um finally i was asking when they're like well you don't have a lot of really the symptoms and i said please and they did and i did so then my legs blew up uh both legs blew up huge and turned out um, full of clots they had to do a couple of surgeries to get uh, they tell me about a foot and a half of clots out of each leg does that mean we've heard that it's a it's actually a blood disease and not a respiratory disease. Is that evidence of this? Yeah, so that virus sits in the I, lining of that blood vessel and then that creates a clotting cascade or it makes your blood actually clot. Um, and you're, you're kind of a high risk because you're already immobile, you're in a bed and you just had a traumatic experience which is also inflammatory. So they kind of, it's like piggybacking on top of each other. You almost had to have your legs amputated, right? I mean, they... That's what they came to me at first because they they just blew up so fast and they were purple and they said we may have amputated i'm like please i have to match some shots on the show i don't think we can do that please save my legs so um but they gave me plasma right away remdesivir the zinc and uh vitamin cocktail and so i mean i think that helped a lot but it was really scary. I, I obviously, who wants to lose their legs? And they did, did do the surgeries where they removed the clots. So uh, I, I find myself very fortunate and very blessed. What's the advice you give to people, your fans, and uh, and the public out there about this disease? You know, it's it seems it is so easy to pass. So if you can stay home, stay home. I know it's hard. It, but it, it's it, protect yourself, protect the people you love, wear a mask, stay six feet apart, listen to the experts, please. It's not a hoax. There, I was in a COVID ward and there were people dying all the time. And, you know, it's, it's uh, frightening. It, it happens fast. Please just care about your fellow man, your fellow family member listen and follow instructions please do you feel like you sort of have a new lease on life and with that lease what will you do how will it change oh you? my gosh if i can you know help people help them with their fears it's not necessarily always a death sentence but you have to be smart about it if you think you might have it get a test i mean i i when they were kind of hesitating with the test, I finally said, you know, guys, we're doing $10,000 and $20,000 tests here. Can I have the $150 coronavirus test, please? So, you know, but but be careful. If you can stay home, stay home. If you, if you have to go out, wear a mask, wear gloves, stay six feet apart. You know, think about everybody else, including your own family, because you're saving others. Did they ever test you for antibodies? Well, that's the thing. No. And I want to give my plasma if I can, if it can help someone else, I want to do whatever I can. I have, I am O positive. So I want to give as much blood as possible, anything, because I did have a couple of 
transfusions. We heard that O positive was the one you want to have. So you're not bulletproof if you have O positive. Definitely not bulletproof, but you're definitely probably lucky that you are O positive considering the type of circumstance you went through. Um, You know, all the data is showing O positives the best of the bunch. (sighs) Finally, something to be the best of. (laughs) But the nurses are the true heroes. They go in every day, they get sick, they come back, they go in every day, and they're the ones holding people's hands and on the front lines. And man, they are the heroes, the unsung heroes. And if anything, do put a mask on for them. Judy, does your inner Nancy Drew spend any time trying to figure out how you got it, uh, i.e. from visiting family members or medical staff or? There's been no visiting at all at the hospital. Um, But a couple of times when they took me down for CT scans and sonograms, um, they didn't have a mask on. I didn't think of it either, but, um, and I went all through the hospital, sat in waiting rooms with other patients who may or may not have had COVID. And I don't know, you know, that's my inner Nancy Drew. So I'm a little concerned about that, but you know, Time will tell. Judy, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get home? Oh, my God. Kiss my, well, I'll be kissing him and hugging my husband when he picks me up. And then kissing and hugging my dogs and uh, being going for hopefully a little walk in the sunlight, real live sunlight, and real live air. I hope you OD on vitamin D and have a wonderful uh a wonderful week and with the and, and the rest of your life with your husband. So we're so glad to see what that you have survived. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Thank you so much, and I appreciate it. And everybody, just stay stay safe for the people you love and the people around you and yourself, and just be safe and be smart. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.